What is up guys, Charity Guzzly here. Today, in this video, I'm talking about my worst injuries I've ever had. Some of these are actually serious, and some of them are just really embarrassing. Before I start this video, I am a klutz. I'm very, very accident prone. I would just be walking up the stairs, and it's normal for me to fall on my face. Now with that disclaimer is gone, let's get straight into this. Coming in at number 5, my lip through my tooth. This list is going to get like just a little bit injured to some very bad injuries. The first one is all because of my sister. She saw at a pink concert that pink was flipped by some guy. The certain flip was between his legs. Um, so my sister tried to do that on me. I fell straight into the carpet and this was during December and every year I have this Christmas party at my house and I had a huge fat lip. This is not a bad one, it just came in front of a blood vessel being burned to my nose. This one beat that because of it just kind of a funny twist to it, because I was really insecure at that party. Coming in at number four, we have second degree burns on my feet. This setting is at the pool club. Pretty much, I was playing basketball and being baller, not really, and I was making shots, but my feet were starting to really, really hurt. Don't forget that. It was like a 90 degree, 90 degree day, and it was, and I was playing barefoot on a black top. Also, I was going to Portugal in a few days, and after 40 minutes of playing, I'm like, I must have stepped on something. This really, really hurts. Let's just put some Crocs on, maybe you could just fix it. By the way, if your feet are getting burned, never put rubber on it. It makes it five times worse. But after 20 minutes, I go to my dad barely walking and saying, Dad, my feet really, really hurt now. And he checks him and says, Kyle, look at this one fourth of your foot burned off. Like I immediately started crying. I was so scared that something bad was happening. My dad carried me to the car and we went to the doctor. Then I had to be in a wheelchair going to the airport to take the flight to Portugal. I didn't want to be in the wheelchair, but my doctor's like, you have to be in a wheelchair. It was the most like sc <laughs> scary thing. And, uh, and then when I went to Portugal, I had a huge like band-aid on my foot every day when I went to the beach. It was honestly miserable, and to that day, my feet are super sensitive to the sun, and I have to wear shoes on blacktop. Lesson learned. Coming in in number three, I have bit by a venomous spider. When I was young, I went to Turk and Caicos uh, <clears throat> because my parents were getting married again. They never broke up, they just wanted to do it again. I don't get it, I don't know. We were there all eating dinner, and at the end of the table, there was me. Happy at one second, then the next moment, I was crying so bad. My parents saw that I had a huge throbbing bug bite, and then um, brought me to the hospital. They found out that I was bit by a venomous spider. And now, since that day, whenever, every time I'm bit by an insect, I will swell up super, super bad. Coming into number two, stitches on my eye. The setting is uh, Disneyland or Disney World, the one in Florida. I forget what it's called. And pretty much, uh, there was a little water park that had a kitty section and a big pool. This is a few years ago, and my sister didn't want me to go in the big pool. Like, we just wanted to go in the kitty section. I don't know why. So we went into the kitty section. I was in second grade, and I wasn't the smartest kid, so I told my sister, let's run around with our eyes closed in the kitty section. In Disneyland, they have a certain themes, and the theme of this pool was Nemo. And my sister was like, no, we're not doing that. But I ignored my sister, and I was running by myself. And of course, since I'm a klutz, I slipped right into a metal fish. Um, my eye was gushing blood. My sister brought me to my parents, and we went to the doctors at, like, Disneyland, pretty much. By the way, they didn't even have a first aid kit. Like, but what are you doing? Also, the nearest hospital was about 10 minutes away by drive and 20 to 40 minutes by walking. So we were like, so we're like to the workers at Disney. Can, can you like get us like a free taxi or like, can you just get an instant taxi here? 
and they're like, um, you can wait online for a cab. Do, do you not see me gushing blood here? Excuse me! <laughs> After five minutes of waiting, we get a cab, then drive to the doctors. They said I had to get four stitches on my eye. That was a pretty scary moment. Then uh, they numbed my eye out and put stitches on it. Coming in at number one, we have my broken nose. Now up to the final task, this setting is in my favorite teacher's Mr. Dietz class. This was last year, or technically this year, well last school year, pretty much. At the time, uh, we had a big project, and this girl named Gigi, that's a fake name, was uh, having some trouble at the board. I went to help her, and while I was walking back to my seat, I tripped. I might have been tripping on air, I might have tripped on a pencil, either way, I tripped right next to my seat. I hit the leg of my chair and my face fell straight down on my desk. My nose started bleeding. The funny thing about this, that no one from my class saw me having a bloody nose and breaking my nose, except this girl named Lily. Like, <laughs> boy, and I was in the front of the classroom too. Like, ex excuse me, how do how does that make sense? But so I went to the bathroom to stop my bloody nose. I go back to class and it's killing me. It's honestly horrible. So I go to the nurse. The nurse is talking to me and she's like, "There's a little bump on your nose. I'll give you some ice, then go back to class." I did that and my nose is throbbing now. It hurts so bad. After two periods, I go home and tell my sister what happens. My sister is talking to me and she's like, "You broke it. You broke your nose." She takes a picture of my nose and then I see it and it's legit crooked. What are you saying? It's a little bump. <laughs> Bitch, I don't think that's a little bump. We went to the ENT and it said that I broke my nose and in a week or two, if it doesn't get better, I would have to go under like anesthesia, I'm pretty sure it's called, and then they would have to fix my nose. Luckily, my nose did pop right back into place after a week. Um, but my nose is still a little bit, like, crooked, but it's only by, like, a millimeter. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, um, hit that like button, and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.